Marcus. Good evening, Mike. Hello, everybody. Getting set. First event. Going 17.30 metres. Note that in race three, number two will be driven further forward. Race three, number two, further forward. Just about set. Favourite on the back row. Starters happy. Green light. They're racing. And one of the first to show out was Playful Fella down near the inside. And it'll get across and lead Fuller AC. In the meantime, commencing well is the Carring Bar Kid to take closer order. And just in behind those horses is Cobbity Cove. In behind those is the well-fancied De Bertie Francis, who has been back down from long odds uh, down to single figures. It's racing three markers and fifth. And going around the outside now was St. Elmo's Fire three deep. Further back then came uh, Gentleman Red. Now it's in the running line. Just a little worse than midfield from Ring Spanner. Further back then came 7th Century and settling at the tail end of the field now is Swaggy Shannon. In that pattern they run down the lane here and the lead time was uh, 8 seconds and 29.5 first quarter last mile. And the leader narrowly is Playful Fella. Second parked is St Elmo's Fire and there's Gentleman Red on the improved three horses wide going around the Yatter. Fuller AC trails the tempo and just in behind those is the Carring Bar Kid and Birdie Francis followed by Cobbity Cove and Ring Spanner. A length and a half off then to 7th Century and still whipping them in is Swaggy Shannon. In that order they work into the back straight now with 800 metres left to go. 30.9 for that second quarter. 60 and 4 the half and the leader narrowly is Playful Fella at Letter Neck. Second is Gentleman Red with Fuller AC under lock and key third and next on the outside then came uh, St Elmo's Fire. It's in the 1-1 one, one, taking off from back in the field and going around them then was Ring Spanner, Birdie Francis, the Carring Bar Kid and Cobbity Cove. Well back in the race is 7th Century and still last is Swaggy Shannon. Towards the quarter marker they come, 400 left to go. The leader narrowly is Playful Fella, 29-2 that split, but joining it is Gentleman Red and making a line of three and coming at them as Ring Spanner. Cobbity Cove tracks into it and Fuller race sees in behind those from Birdie Francis. Ring Spanner and Gentleman Red go up to join Playful Fella. Cobbity Cove's in behind those, running on a well, there's trouble in back play. In trouble was Birdie Francis, Ring Spanner and Gentleman Red, they're locked in battle from Cobbity Cove. It's narrowly in front here, Ring Spanner. Ring Spanner's just in front, diving late was Cobbity Cove and it's a photo finish. Ring Spanner and Cobbity Cove, a bit of a boil over here in the opener. In behind them, Gentleman Red, then came the Carring Bar Kid, Fuller AC, 7th Century, Bertie Francis, ended up on the inside of the track there at one point, going for an inside run, and then came further back to clock in St Elmo's Fire, Swaggy Shannon, and Playful Fella dropped out to finish at the tail, 28-6 last quarter, 157-3, and, three, and uh, the one on the outside has dived and has got up, Four's in the frame. Four wins it. Four beats 12. 